channel please be sure to subscribe and click on that post notification bell so you'll be notified every single time we post a new video all right you guys so today as you can see i'm eating a sub this sub is from jersey mike's yes i'm getting a jersey mike's uh turkey sub i'm gonna eat this is a giant i'm gonna eat it well i don't know if i'm eating all of it but i'm gonna eat as much as i can then I have Canada Dry Ginger Rail, okay? So I'm going to say a prayer, and then we're going to get into the goodness right afterwards. Father God, in the name of Yeshua, we thank you for the food we're about to receive, for the nourishment of our bodies. In your name, we pray. We pray that you bless everyone. Amen. Amen, y'all. So, as I told you before, I'm eating some Jersey Mike's, and then I got me some Canada Dry, and I'm going to dig in. Look, y'all, when I ever, whenever... I have them make my sub ahead of time. What I do is I ask them to put, you know, the pickles and the uh, tomatoes and stuff. I told them to put that on the side because I don't like my stuff, uh, what you call it, soggy. I don't like my stuff soggy. So I'm, that's what you're gonna see me do now. I'm gonna put some, put the tomato and stuff. I always tell them to do this because um, if I, unless I'm gonna eat it right away. So I guess, of course, I didn't eat this right away. So I'll put the pickles in there, you know, and stuff. Put these in there. So I'm only doing half, but I want to. I want to see how much of this I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna see how much of this I'm gonna eat. Okay. So also the oil and vinegar they got it here. They got it like, get that. <laughs> they got it mixed together. So I had to shake it up real good. So we gonna pour that. Ooh, y'all, y'all see? Oh, I need to let y'all see it. Y'all see that? <laughs> I love oil and vinegar. Like, honestly, I didn't know nothing about it until Subway back in the day. Oh, by the way, let me brag a little bit. I used to be a sandwich artist at Subway. That's what we were called back then, a sandwich artist. You know what I'm saying? I still know how to make the bread. I still know how to do all that stuff, you know. But I digress. But um, I used to, actually, I didn't know anything about um, oil and vinegar until I worked at Subway. I didn't know you put that on the sandwich. I had no idea. I, I I was a Miracle Whip child. I put Miracle Whip on my sandwiches, and I was good to go. That was it. So I'm about to take a bite. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm. This is good, y'all. I don't remember, excuse me, I honestly don't remember if I, hold on, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought that quick. I lost my train of thought that quick. Mmm. 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 I'm trying to eat as much as I can before I really, really start talking because all this bread and chewing I gotta do. Now this would be a good challenge though. I wish I thought about this before I started. 
and like do a uh, time challenge eating a sub. This would be a good challenge. <laughs> good. All this chewing. Ooh. But this is good though. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all are doing well. Hope you are doing well. We're about to have some snow supposedly here in Georgia. Supposed to be coming up. It might be snowing now by the time this video drops, but we're supposed to be having snow here. And you know how it is for us from the South. Snow is a totally different event than those that are like from the North that are used to it every day. So you know everything's gonna be shut down around here. Unfortunately, there are going to be some people who drive crazy. They're going to slide down the road. Unfortunately, but that's the nature of being in the South. You know, we don't know how to drive in the snow. We really don't. But we're supposed to have that probably now. Or if it didn't happen yet, it's going to happen sometime today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying the sandwich. When I was having a baby, honestly, y'all, this was, who was it, Layla I had, I carried? No, Layla, when I carried Layla, I could eat anything. I think it was Nikki. I started getting heartburn and stuff like that. And I had, this was the only thing I could eat and I felt, I felt good or something. It was just weird. There are a lot of sandwiches. Mm. I'm hoping that everyone, um, everyone stays encouraged and feels uplifted and, and joyful and everything. Because it's been on my heart about um, the heaviness that's on a lot of people and what they go through and about all the unknowns, because you just don't never, ever, 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 ever know what people are dealing with and what people are going through. So I just thought I'd bring that up. Hold on a second. Come on, people. I got, I got a little, um, just give me a second. There's a lot of people that we know or we come across and we have no idea the depth of pain that they're in. We have no idea the losses that they've had, whether it's loss of a friendship, loss of a loved one, um, whether it's a, just the loss of a job, anything. Um, we just never know what people are going through and what people are dealing with. And in that, you'll be very surprised when people actually say, Around this time last year, I was going through this or whatever because we as people have learned to put a face on even when we're having a hard time or even when we need help. Because I do understand why sometimes we put on a face if we're having a hard time because it's like that we want to keep our minds at a positive level and we feel like if I keep smiling, if I stay in a positive space, then everything's going to be okay. But the issue is whenever we're drowning, we do the same thing versus asking for help um, in some type of way or just telling people like, hey, I'm not doing good right now. I, I don't know if it's a pride thing. And I think for a lot of people, it's a wall. Or why we don't help each other. And what's kind of disheartening about the whole thing is when we start talking about whatever it is that we're going through, there's somebody else that, could, that will agree and they will identify with you and say, you know what, I've been through the same thing. This is how I did it, how I got through it. 
What's interesting about it is we don't have the conversation at all. We suffer in silence. We suffer alone. I think on YouTube, I can't really say the S word, you know, um, people losing their lives, you know, taking their own lives. I'm going to say it that way. A lot of this stuff is happening and, and a lot, and we sit and we're like, okay, I'm surprised that this person was so down and out and this person was so hurt. And many times it's because the conversation is not had in any way. Mm. But you know what, to be honest, if you do have a wall up and your wall is up because you're trying to protect your mind and you're trying to protect your spirit and stuff like that, you still have to have a time to bring the wall down so that you can get whatever you need or the help you need. You know what I'm saying? Um, second, y'all. I'm so sorry. Because we could really, if we really talk to one another and really develop relationships with one another, we could really help each other out because there are people now on the verge of possibly losing everything they have. There's people on the verge now possibly um, going into depression or whatever it is, and they are seeking the help. But you know, I, I'm gonna talk from a godly perspective because you know our help and our health and our strength and our joy, it comes from God. He has provided that as a gift which means that it's something that you don't have to earn. It's just something that he extends to us and he gives to us in order for us to survive, in order to overcome anything and any obstacle that we face in our life. Um, and, and that's it. He will plant people in your life that will uplift you, that will provide, even in the times you think no one else is there, he will do that, and I promise you he will. One of the things I know for me is that I'm, I'm overcome things by keeping my mind focused on who he is and, and giving up my own will and my own self. And I'm saying this because I was at one point, and this is something I'm learning now even as we speak, I was in full control of what I felt everything um, could, how everything could be or should be in my life. I was in full control of it. Now everything is just out of control in a sense. I have no control in my life. And the only thing that I could do, and the only control I have is really my inner self. And I think I mentioned this in the, in the last video, is my inner being. That's the only control I have. But, um... But in trying to find the control, trying to get that control back, God just placed my hands off of it to a point that I can't do anything except for trust and believe in who he is. That's all I can do. And because I'm so controlling, <laughs> I don't want to control others, but I'm talking about when it comes to myself and my situation, because I'm so controlling, I feel like everything is spiraling out of control and I feel like I'm about to just say bust. I don't know if that's the word. I feel like I want to cry sometimes. And I'll be honest. But when I'm reminded of who God is and the fact that he says that he will keep me. He will keep me in peace. He will sustain me. He will uphold me. Even if I'm under attack, he said he'll prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Even if the world has come crashing in, he says, if in, um, with God before me, any uh, who can be against me? So pretty much no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Nothing shall prosper. And so when I think of that, it puts me in a state of power. In a When I am in a physical state of powerlessness, I am one of the most powerful beings there is. Why? Because I know what God is doing. And, and I know God is about to shift and shape things in my life. And so that's a hard lesson that I have to learn is of, as far as letting go of my will, letting go of my control and let God do what he's going to do. But because I, I tell you right now, once he does what he's going to do, 
No one can take it away from you. It will go exceedingly and abundantly beyond whatever you ask or think according to um, the power that's in you, the work that's in you. It will exceed your expectation and it will be an everlasting thing and no one can come against it. And it will put you in such a posture of power and a posture of peace. So even if turmoil will try to come up against you, you cannot, you won't let it. You won't let it because your power, the God he put in, the power he put in you is going to overcome that, um, over, overcome that. So I'm just trying to encourage you guys today. I know it took me um, a while to eat my sandwich, uh, which I still got a whole sandwich over here, but I just had to get it out. That's why I had to stop eating for a minute because I just had to get it, get it out and, and let it flow. Um, as God gives it to me, but I'm just telling y'all, I know that many of you are hurting. Many of you are in a, in a bad state and everyone around you thinks that you're good when you're really not. I know that for a fact, but I'm telling you right now that I got you covered. Um, I will be praying for you and God loves you. He hasn't forgotten about you. Um, and because I will tell you this, I'll probably talk about this in another video because I've had um, a recent experience as to where I felt God wasn't anywhere to be found. It's like mentally I knew he was there, but I didn't feel his presence like I wanted to or I didn't hear him like I normally did. Because there was one point in my life where I heard him consistently. He would, you know, I heard him so much and all of a sudden it was just like a silence. And I was like, what is this? So I'll probably discuss that in another video, but it was just laid upon my heart to just be an encouragement to some of you guys or all of you guys out there. Because even if you're not in that time now, there's gonna be a point in your life that you probably will be in that in that time. Uh, um, but if, if it is, um, it's gonna be all right. Because one thing I am gonna do is, I am gonna discuss how great it is, how great things are getting or being or whatever. Hold on a second, y'all. Tyson, be quiet. But you know, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just had to get that out. Now I'm going to finish my sandwich. I just had to get that out. It was on my heart. I just had to get it out. So. Mmm. Mmm. Woo. We all get that from Tyson. Woo. Wee. He loves saying that. I get my facial expression from Layla and Nikki. Because when they eat something that's good to them, they do the whole, you know what I'm saying? They, I, I told them, and I'm not saying this just because they're um, my babies, but they should be in a commercial. You know what I'm saying? I get that from them. So, oh my gosh. Love all my children, love them all. Well, I'm going to um, wrap this up soon, y'all. And I'm sorry, um, I'm not eating my sandwich. Well, actually, let me finish eating my sandwich. At least eat, finish eating this part. Let me at least finish this part. Mm. I did not give y'all a bite. Mm, give y'all a bite. There you go. Mm -hmm. I should have had them gut out the bread because it's a lot of bread. <laughs> but I love bread though. For some reason today, I don't know I'm struggling so much today though. I normally scarf this down easy. Mm -hmm. y'all just hang in there just hang in there tell me just hang in there the light is at the end of the tunnel and you can see the light and I'm telling you this too surround yourself with positivity any way you can find it Surround yourself with that. Um, I'm telling you. I am telling you, telling you, telling you. 
I am telling you. I know some of y'all probably wish you would eat that sandwich. Okay, I got you. I'm gonna eat the sandwich. This ch chill out. You know, I'm gonna eat it. See? <laughs> it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all too. <laughs> that is a slow time today, y'all. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah, I feel better. Actually, y'all, I was having a hard time, but I feel better after talking to y'all. It's, it's like I was hearing... I was hearing... Um, God speak to me. I was always talking to y'all. So I feel better. I do. I feel a lot better. Let me get this out. Mm -hmm. So, almost done. Mm-hmm. Finally made it. Woo! Mm. The drama of it all, right? <laughs> I'm done. Y'all keep your head up. Y'all stay encouraged. Please stay encouraged, y'all. Please. It's going to get better. I promise you. I promise you. Just hold on. Hold on. And I know that's the saying that a lot of people say, but hold on. I promise you, you gonna, it's going to get better. I promise you it, it will. If you're new to our channel, please be sure to... Subscribe, like, share, and comment, and click the post notification bell so that you'll be notified every single time we post a new video. Love conquers all. Together we stand, divided we fall. Team Jackson, peace and love. Starting to really believe that communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating more. Let's just start communicating more. Let's have more conversations.